A warning now with the warming temperatures and recent rain. Watch out for snakes. On Tuesday, a coral snake bit a 10-year-old at a home near Spicewood Springs Road in 360. That's near the Greenbelt area. That child went to Dell Children's Medical Center, is expected to be fine. But with spring weather, a snake encounter is much more likely. So they're starting to venture closer to homes, uh, closer to businesses and places where uh, uh, these uh, where they might find food and water, and that's bringing them into contact with people more often. Good news, coral snake bites are rare. The animals usually only bite if they're feeling threatened. The bad news, though, anti-venom treatment is really expensive. The only company that makes coral snake anti-venom in the U.S. stopped large production of it in 2011. They will still make some, but only for emergencies. Now, here in Texas, there are four main types of venomous snakes you need to look out for. In addition to the coral snake, copperheads blend in with leaves. They like to hide under logs and other debris. Cotton mouths or water moccasins, you may know them as like the ponds, ditches, lakes, and the marshy areas. And these can even be aggressive. They can sometimes grow to be nearly six feet long. And then let's not forget the rattlesnakes. There are nine different kinds found throughout the state. They usually rattle the tail before striking, giving you a warning, but not always, especially if you surprise them. Avoid getting bit, uh, bitten by avoiding the snakes, respecting them. Watch your step, of course, and wear shoes or boots if you know you're going to be in an environment where they could be. Almost all bites happen below the knee when a, someone is walking near a snake. And if you're bitten, get to a hospital or a doctor as soon as possible.